My name is Nathaniel Hamilton. I'm fighting out of Mingo County, West Virginia. I'm 18 years old. I'm here to call out fucking Jordan Hagee. My name is Jordan Hagee. I'm from Brumwell, West Virginia. I'm coming for you, baby. I'm coming to fucking Welch. You're a pussy. Motherfucker, you look like Beavis and Butthead with that curly ass hair. Well, come on down. Come on. Get your fucking ass looked. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've been to Welch before. Oh, there's definitely some tough people up there, but I don't think it's something I can't handle. Right now, it's Nathaniel Hamilton, Young Hammy, going against the woodchopper, Jordan Hagee. Uh, Robbie, what a moment. By the way, good job of backing off there because I really do think he was going to fight, fight you. Oh, me too. Yeah. Me too. All right, here, here they go. It is the woodchopper in blue, Young Hammy in red. Good of these guys to not rush uh, and use all their resources in the first round. Absolutely, staying composed. Beautiful conservation of energy by these two fighters. We see two main jobs out of these fighters. They're either lumber workers who work with trees or coal miners. Right here, we have a wood chopper, and boy, is he chopping. He is chopping, bro. The, the uh, crowd is loud. Everyone's kind of in a state of stun, shock. What just happened? On their feet. I thought a man was paralyzed for a couple minutes there. Mighty Mouse made it clear that he does not need this, and he's always been more of an MMA guy than a boxing guy. You have to wonder if it was a statement and an and a insult to the entire sport and industry. We just said that Dana White has to see that oh, yeah. inside him. Yes. All right, we got hot mics everywhere. Oh, we might be back. We've got uh, green buttons. It looked like the things came back, but they did not. We're good on what we have, though. We're good on the mics we have. The headsets do not work still. All right, so uh, we're back at the top of the order when it comes to ring girls. Back to number one, ring girl competition coming up, I believe. Have we seen any ring girls separate themselves tonight? Uh, the best move I saw was the ring girl who helped the young lady whose hair was all over yes, the place. The yes. camaraderie between these might not win her the ring girl of the night, but Miss Congeniality has to be in the bag. All right, so round two, young hammy in the red, wood chopper in the blue. We got the go, go, go from Chris. He wants people to go. You'll be shocked, but the wood chopper does not work out. He relies solely on his wood chopping to uh, help him with his fighting. Really shocking. I thought his technique really indicated a strong training background. The young Hammy with his hands on his knees, a little gassed here. A little limp. Oh, oh and he's, young Hammy is saying, I can't do it. Oh, we might have a. He might oh, puke. He's gonna puke. Get the bucket. Back up. Get the Back bucket. Up. He's Get gonna the puke. bucket. Get the bucket. Grab the bucket. Get the Grab bucket. the bucket. Get the Grab the bucket. He almost puked right in our face, folks. That was unbelievable. Close call. Spit out his mouth guard, almost puked, and his ring man is none too happy with him. He still might puke. He's doubled over in the ring. Yeah. Oh yeah! He, oh, he, there was a puke. There, oh, just so that was the other guy. That was the other guy. The other, other guy's guy. puking now. It's just a it's puke a, fest. It's oh, a here puke it is. Off. He's actually puking. Yeah, Unbelievable! It's a, it's a puke off. That's not the original puke. Did they speak to Dave before this fight? Did he give him what he got? I don't know. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.